The ice sticks uh, here are uh, particularly interesting in that uh, architecturally uh, some people find them very uh, attractive but uh, technically they have very few moving parts. A lot of air source heat pumps would have uh, fans. These don't. Uh, I'm standing on a large area of geothermal uh, piping which is being combined with the air source so that what we have is a very constant level of heat from the ground uh, which is helping to supplement the air source heat pumps which will get varying temperatures throughout the year. What air source heat pumps do is they take low grade heat from the air and then that's converted through a gas system to a, a heat pump similar to your domestic fridge if you can imagine in reverse and that low grade heat is then used for uh, heating the house via underfloor heating. The caloric ice sticks uh, only take the heat from the air that the building needs. So as you can see here, it's a reasonably mild day, it's not too cold, and the ice sticks are half iced up, whereas in very cold weather, when the building needs a lot of heat, they will adjust and they will take more uh, heat from the air to heat the house. This is the internal part of the calorie heat pump, which transfers the heat from outside into water which is then circulated into the house via pre-insulated pipework which travels under the ground. This is the calorie control panel which monitors the electrical consumption of the air source heat pump and the corresponding temperatures here are water flowing out and water returning. So as you can see they're fairly close at the moment at 22.3 and 22.4 degrees C so the heat pump is idling because it's, it's satisfied the heat demand in the house at very low uh, water flow temperatures.